Good evening everyone, you know, in case it is evening wherever you live, I am your German snob and um, I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Black Mesa. Indeed, so where do we have to go next? Maybe in there? But really it doesn't look like it. And there's fire on the other side, so obviously we don't have to go in there either. So it looks like we are supposed to go back up again. Well, not exactly like that, but you know. Alrighty. Can we make the jump from here? Yes. <laughs> I have no idea if that what if if that was what we were supposed to do, but uh whatever works, I guess. Uh I won't complain, but probably we were supposed to do something different. Ah, who cares? Okay, can we enter that door? Nah. But we can get back here again, and what's that? A space wizard or something else? Well, it's definitely an enemy up here. We don't hit it, don't, do we? Nah, we don't. So, we can't get in there, so we have to jump over there, and this game gets, well, you know, it kind of gets very jump heavy, I guess, which kind of frightens me, just, just, just saying. Okay, we made it here. I didn't expect to make it here, but that that was probably the easy part. Did it? Okay. And I did it. I really thought I'd fail at this, but I didn't. Okay, I won't complain. But again, if you have a first-person game, jumping shouldn't be a very important mechanic. I mean... Loading scenes shouldn't be an important mechanic either. But what I was going to say... Uh, oh hey, we have full, like, suit energy. No, what I was going to say, the original Half-Life kind of came out at the time where... Huh. Uh, came out at the time when... Jumping sections, or, you know, platforming sections were pretty popular with first-person games and, you know, first-person shooters. But there is a reason they have kind of disappeared now. <laughs> and kind of, you know, got replaced with vehicle sections, but... Yeah, you know, that's beside the point. But the thing is that first-person platforming does just doesn't work very well. Because you just don't have such a good feel for, like, timing and positioning in first-person. Yeah. Shooting works well in first-person perspective, but... Okay, what are we... well, obviously, I guess. <laughs> so are we supposed to go down? Because I don't think that those doors are going to open, no. Well, I thought so. Okay, let me try. Let me try if we can get down there without hurting ourselves too much. Should be possible, definitely looks like it's possible, but we have to be very careful. And... Okay. And there's just a huge river of, like, probably it's sewage down there, which is pretty disgusting. <laughs> just saying. Okay, so where are we safe? Here, maybe? Yep. And from here, can we get down there without... Well, without hurting ourselves very much. That's the most important thing. So, that door's locked. That means we can't enter it. See, that's just basic logic. I shouldn't have to tell you guys. That's something we can't use. And... 
you know what, just let's let's throw a, let's throw those bottles and that paint away because really it's not like we need it or anything. We should be able to enter that door, no. Okay, so you really want to tell us that we are supposed to jump into that water. Yuck. But yes, apparently that's what the game expects us to do. Uh, apparently? Yep, it does. And yeah, I should have expected that. That's the reason why I saved before jumping in there. Well, and because I save about every... Well, about every minute. Roundabout. Because I'm one paranoid guy. But it is in here, is it? Oh, it's gotta be. And it is down there, is it? And we're running out of air, do we? And there's a ladder. Okay, that wasn't that bad. No, not at all. Computers. Who needs computers? So that's for the evils of modern technology. Away with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, where to go next? Can we turn that valve? No, we can't. Not that one either, I guess. Nope. So does that mean we have to get here? Well, maybe. But probably not. So, back in there again. Or not, I guess. Huh. Okay, so I was wrong about that. But at least we don't actually die. We, like, you know... Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to tell you. No, so we have to go somewhere else. So, let's... Ah, wait, wait, wait. We have to go here? Maybe? Oh, kinda looks like it, I guess. Well, at least, you know, kind of looks like we are making some sort of progress here. So, we are here. Have you already been here? I don't know. Uh, no, we haven't. It kind of looks like that other place, but it's not, so... No, we haven't. So, the question is, where to go next? That door doesn't open up. I don't even have to look to know. So, um... Let's try this. Okay, no. We just get out here again. Jump in here and maybe we will get somewhere else. Yep. Here's some fire, but we should be able to survive it. Even though I have kind of no idea where I am going. Well, no, I do have kind of an idea where I'm going. It's just not a very good one. But beneath that thing, we can get in here and save again, because that's pretty much what I am doing again, like, every minute. Because... Well, you know, actually, that's pretty bad, in fact, because safe scamming is not exactly the sign of a competent player, but... <laughs> well, guys, who said that I'm a competent player? No one did. And if anyone did, he's probably delusional, so you shouldn't talk to that guy. Wow, that one actually opens up. I've gotten so used to doors that don't open up, that one that actually does open up is a legitimate surprise to me. So that just leads us around here. 
Okay. Uh, okay. But where we actually have to go should be here. Maybe. I don't know, everything looks the same. <laughs> I mean, okay. I don't want to complain about the game design all that much, but the level design does get kind of repetitive. I mean, obviously the game tries its best not to, but come on, you can't deny it. Do we have to go down here? I don't know, it's worth a try. Nope, we already... We have already been here. So that's not really worth trying now, is it? So back down again... Billy. That thing... And back up again at some point. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, air. And now I'm here. Huh. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of getting lost here. Have you already been here? No, apparently not, because we haven't found this weapon yet. But it's really nice to have it again, and to use it against that space wizard. Twice. Oh, chemical detected, really? Well, I wouldn't have guessed. I know. So, that looks like the way to progress. Oh, right. Because really, everything looks the same, and let's turn this off, because maybe turning this off will do something good. And we have full health and full energy. So, uh, it's not like I want to complain, but the game has, in fact, gotten fairly easy again. And again, I don't want to complain, but the difficulty curve in this game... Well, there's a reason I keep complaining about it. It's all over the place. I'm not sure how this was, or how much this was the case in Half-Life 1, the original. But in this game, it's very noticeable. I mean, now, even after they have taken away our guns, because... You know, the government, they, they want to take away our gun. Sorry. No, uh, after they've taken away our guns, we die. And... You too. Yeah, maybe not waste our ammunition all that much. I think that this one will be enough for them. Yeah, no, he's dead. Uh, but what I was going to say, even now that the game took away our guns, um, we... But the game is still comparably easy, even though those guys here kind of gave me trouble, but... Well, you know, my fault. <laughs> really nothing else. So... Again, it's all over the place. And you know, like, probably in... 5 to 10 minutes, well, let's say 10 minutes, we will probably just barely be able to survive again. Now, are we going in the right direction? I don't know. Why will you look at that? There was another switch, which I completely missed because, you know, I'm kind of not the brightest. This turns on those conveyor belts. Using these conveyor belts, we can probably get up there. We probably want to get up there because getting up there is something good. Because it enables us to go down here. And going down here is what we wanted all along. Now that we can get down here, we can make some actual progress. And what this room was all about, well, I wouldn't know. You know, there are just randomly two space lizards because it's always nice to have them. Okay, and somehow I managed to lose most of my health. However that happened. Well, I know how it happened because the game for some reason decided to believe that I threw a bomb which then blew off in my face, even though really I didn't. But you know, who am I to complain? Okay, so we can switch around those that switch, but what does it do? I don't know. 
There is only one way to find out. Okay, and the game for some reason decided that I fired a shot here. And the game for some reason decided that I died here. Well, uh, no, actually it didn't. I did die here, but... And it was my own fault. But that was just me mistiming my... Well, mistiming something, I guess. Mistiming the right time to run, I guess. You know. And, no, I didn't fire a shot. And really, I know that it doesn't sound very convincing, but the game actually... Seems to think that I'm... Firing even though I don't, and fuck this place. Okay, we survived it because it wasn't difficult. And the music is getting really excited! And this makes me excited. No, it doesn't because... It wouldn't be the first time that this happens. And getting down here... Yep, seems reasonable to think that we... And will you look at that, there's a laser trap. And look at that, there is a passage. Do we have to take it? That's the better question. And... Those guys, like really, those guys. Uh. Okay, let's stay on that conveyor belt, not to run into that space lizard down there again. And jump onto the next one, and then get in there, and just conveniently leave that room behind. And then I do something like that. You know guys, why don't you just turn off the video and watch the let's play of someone competent in this game, will ya? No, please don't, please don't, please, please don't. <laughs> Whatever. So, we are in here. It would be nice if there was a health... Did this do anything? Uh, I don't know. But it would be nice if a health pack was in here, but it doesn't look like we are that lucky. No, not really. Okay. Okay. Yeah, headcrab, I'm taking care of you before you can hurt me. Ah, come on. Okay. And you too. So I killed them. And then we kill ourselves, because we couldn't live with the guilt of killing those two had no... Okay, how to get down there safely? That's what I'm asking. Alright, he right. Kill him. Okay. Get over there. Okay. Get down there, maybe? Yeah, apparently. And then we would be here. Now, is there a health pack anywhere around? It would be really useful to have one. But maybe not that useful, because right now the game is actually not that bad if you look past the jumping kind of sections. But still, I would feel much safer if there were some. And it would save much less if I found any. Because I kind of expect a head trip to jump me at any moment. Or a, not even a head trap, maybe a space lizard, or, you know, something else, entirely. Okay. Oh yeah, there, that, there's that guy. Okay, I may just needlessly risk my life here, but I will totally take my revenge on him. Are you dead? No, not yet, but now you are. 
Well, screw you. And we could have gotten here all along. Alright. So, were we really just taking a detour here? Oh hey, there was a switch that I missed. <laughs> a switch that I missed. No, there was a switch that I missed. And there's another one. Now, will you look at that? And we can get on that thing there. That's hanging from that steel rail and we uh, we can jump on it and then we can get here. Yep. So that's the way to progress. I have no idea why there was that place down there. Probably just to confuse me, but okay. Let's keep on going. Shall we? Oi, timing. I don't care, I survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead imminent. Come on. And now we are here. And from here on we can get ourselves a little bit more suit power. And then maybe get up here. And from up here do uh, something or another I suppose. But probably get down here again. But I'm not really sure. But I think so, yeah. Now that we are here, we can get down here, and now that we are down here, we can do absolutely nothing. No, we can get here. And here we can... Okay, game, now you're kind of losing me. I have no idea what we can do here. Okay, no. Of course. So from here we can go here, but first we want to... Huh. Which one of those? That's the question, right? Okay, so no. So in the other one there's a laser trap and there's no way so far to set it off. So I will just assume that we have to go here. Now do we have to jump from here onto there or... Okay, no, I'm pretty sure that we don't want to go here. Okay. Uh, I'm smart, you know. So, we have to do something else. By which I not mean going here. <laughs> okay, you gotta admit, the level layout is getting a little bit confusing. Just, you know, just a bit. No, I didn't want to get up here. Wait. Okay. You see, my problem is, the whole thing is kind of getting up to be all about, you know, trial and error. And okay, I mean, this game does have a quick save button, it's very easy to see, but... I don't know, trial and error is just not a good thing, you know? And here are barrels which we can use to set off the laser traps. Hey, look. At least this should be possible. I don't know. It looks like it would be. And it is. Of course. Now we can get here. And there's another one, really? From here we can go there, and from here we can go there, and from here we can go... Well, how the hell should I know? Not here. Not here. Really, not here. But more like here. Yes. And then we save again because, you know guys, I'm not, I'm not taking any risks. And then we, I don't know. Okay, back at the place with the conveyor belts. We managed to get here and from here we can get there. And from there we can... Wait, just a minute.
Right. From here we can go um, like there, and from there we can go back here, and if you're lucky, we're even going into the right direction. Wow. Uh, save. Okay, uh, we seem to be right here. Thank God. And there's a suit, a suit station, but not a health station. That kind of sucks. But it shouldn't matter too much. God, you have no idea how happy I am when I'm finally getting out of here. And don't have to see conveyor belts ever again. Alright, let's go here. Get away, barnacles. I don't like you, and for some reason I believe that you don't like me either. So I'm gonna avoid you. Okay. This door does open up. It's always nice to see a door that op that opens up. I mean, there are not particularly many of those here, aren't there? And revolver ammunition. Makes me feel a lot safer. Mm -hmm. Wanna know what's funny, guys? I have no idea how much actual footage I have. I mean, I've been here for a really, really long time, but I have no idea how much of it is actual progress and how much of it I have to cut out anyway. But you know what, however it may be, I think this would be a... Let's take care of them. Okay, this would be a pretty good point to stop recording for today, I guess. Yep, I'm pretty sure it is. So, you know, I'm your German snob, and this game is Half-Life Black Mesa, and other than that, I don't think I have anything to say. So, you know, see you tomorrow. Goodbye.